A police officer has been arrested in connection with Wednesday's double murder at Coven, ending a 56-hour manhunt. The 34-year-old suspect was nabbed in Johor Bahru at 11.30 p.m. last night. Arriving at the police cantonment complex, all eyes were on the suspect of the double Coven murder, one of the police's own, senior staff sergeant Iskandar Ramat. The suspect was tracked down Friday night at a restaurant in Johor Bahru's Danga Bay. At a news conference on Saturday morning, Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien expressed his condolences to the victim's family and broke the news. This case is especially troubling as the suspect is a police officer. The police informed me of this when they established his identity on Thursday morning. We had not earlier released any details for operational reasons, as police assessed that there was no threat to public safety and revealing his identity was likely to have made his arrest more difficult to achieve. On Wednesday, the body of 67-year-old Tan Bun Sin was found in his home at Hillside Drive. The body of his son, 42-year-old Tan Shi Hyong, was dragged under a car for one kilometre from the home before being dislodged outside Coven MRT station. Police say the suspect fled to Malaysia at 11pm that night on a scooter. The suspect was a former investigating officer who had been removed from his duties and was facing disciplinary action for financial embarrassment prior to the incident. He was deployed to perform administrative duties and barred from carrying arms. Police say the suspect was also in debt. Police say the extent of the relationship between the suspect and the older Mr Tan is not known, but what they have said is the older victim had made a police report over a case of theft in November last year. Police say the suspect was subsequently reassigned from the case. Later in the day, police were seen collecting evidence from the suspect's home. He was also taken to the scene of the crime at Hillside Drive to assist with police investigations. Neighbours say they are relieved the suspect has been caught. As a resident, I feel more uh, has a sense of security after the suspect we caught because the last few days, honestly, my family and uh, my wife and so on have not been really been feeling a bit insecure staying in our neighborhood. This is really shocking. Uh, and I hope, uh, you know, justice will prevail in the end. At the news conference, Mr Teo also thanked the Malaysian police for their assistance. He said the actions the suspect is accused of have tarnished the reputation of the Singapore police. No one is above the law. Anyone who breaks the law, in particular officers placed in positions of trust or authority, will have to face the full weight of the law. We have zero tolerance for officers who break the law. And I am confident that the investigations will be thorough and that justice will be done. I have asked the Commissioner of Police to tell every officer to continue to perform his duty faithfully and diligently so as to maintain the trust that the public has in the police force and in our officers. The suspect is expected to be charged in court on Monday. Well, Commissioner of Police Ng Ju Hee says the fact that the suspect was a police officer gave investigators greater resolve to crack the case. Today is a sad day for the police. Today we have arrested a murder suspect who is also a policeman. That was the opening statement of the police commissioner at a news conference addressing the Coven murders. He said learning the identity of the suspect was a painful one. When I was first told that the murder suspect could be one of our own, my initial reaction was disbelief, swiftly followed by anger and anguish. This was the same gamut of emotions police investigators had to deal with in the last few days as they pursued the suspect. The fact that the suspect is a police officer gave my investigators even greater resolve and determination to solve this case. I commend them for going about their duties in a thoroughly professional manner and for being ultimately successful in capturing their target. We have now captured Officer Eskander and we will prosecute him to the greatest and maximum extent. 
Commissioner Ng expects Singapore will reverberate with talk about the tragic incident, with most of it an outcry critical of the police and questioning the quality and integrity of police officers. Even as we investigate the murders, the police also look to find out what has led an individual who has sworn to uphold the law to now stand accused of breaking it in the most grievous way. Our police force and every policeman and policewoman is tarred by the actions of this single officer. This is unfortunate, but my officers and I will take every criticism in our stride. The public's trust in the police is the only reason why we are able to keep Singapore as safe as it is. This trust is hard-earned and must never be broken. And we will not allow this tragedy to adversely affect the strong bonds that we share with the communities that we protect. This incident comes on the heels of former Singapore Civil Defence Force Commissioner Peter Lim, who was jailed six months for corruption. Deputy Prime Minister and Home Affairs Minister Teo Chi Hien said while in any organisation there may be individual failings, the key is what is done about them. Mr Teo said in these cases, they've shown that the integrity of the organisation is upheld and this has helped maintain the confidence. He said that's what the government will continue to do. And Channel News Asia understands the disciplinary proceedings against Mr Iskander were due to failure to declare his financial difficulties. Civil servants have to make a yearly declaration that they're not financially embarrassed, meaning they're not undischarged bankrupts or facing debt. As the country reels from the arrest of a police officer for his suspected involvement in the Coven double murder, details are beginning to emerge of Iskandar Rahmat. An undated article on the Singapore Police Force website recounted a letter of appreciation for Iskandar from a Badok resident who had once complained about noise pollution in this neighbourhood. The resident had commended his outstanding work. The article also quoted the commanding officer saying Iskanda was deserving of being the pride of Badok North and PC. His Facebook page reveals a man close to his family, further evident by a note he wrote in 2010, a year after the death of his grandmother. A family friend told Channel News Asia he is single, lives with his parents and sister and supports them financially. He is also understood to be a fan of vintage bikes, himself owning a Vespa scooter, probably the same one he used to make his getaway across the causeway. Iskanda joined the police force in 1999 and is understood to have graduated with a police diploma last year.